We're talking like about Travelling. Like a good neighbor, <laughs> yeah, Chad Satig is here. Traveling. I'm here. It's Chad Satig. Hi. Hi. How are uh, you? Well, first, you should plug. It's good to see you again. First, you should plug yourself. Yeah. Plug myself. Yes. Nope. <laughs> oh God. Well, how much time do we have here? <laughs> you know what? We moved here in July of '08. Opened up the office, State Farm office, what November of '08, mm -hmm. and we are actually in our tenth year now. Um, three years after we got here, we got I got involved with New Bern Civic Theater. My and goodness. it's just been a rocky smooth road ever since. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's very appropriate wording. Very appropriate wording. Yes. Uh, when I say rocky, I, I say it because I had never been to a theater prior to moving here. Not mm -hmm. even to see a show. Not even to see a show. I remember as maybe as a seven-year-old going on a field trip, right. a class field trip, and it was to a theater, and it, let's see, it was, had something to do with Helen Keller at the time. Oh, yeah. right. But that was it. I had never been to a theater, and um, we attended a few shows here, and you know, and the rest is history. Him, your son got involved. Son got involved to a cast party. Mm -hmm. And when he went to the cast party, he decided he wanted to get on stage. Mm -hmm. So I remember taking him to, um, he had these rehearsals. And I was thinking it was a rehearsal with a director, producer, and him. Mm -hmm. But it was open. So there were 100 kids in the crowd. I'd never been. I'd, well, I was not involved in public speaking. And we got there, and they were having to act, sing, and, do, and dance. Mm-hmm. So I said, uh, okay, you ready to go? Go on, kid. <laughs> we'll leave. And he, uh, his, oh. mother, his mother said, nope, we came here. You're going to stay and you're going to do it. Hmm. And he was kicking and screaming. And she said, you know what? After this, we'll stop and get you an Xbox game. And he said, get me two games and I'll stay. And he stayed and he got the part. And he did another show and another show and another show and then... What show was that that he started out with? Oh my was it Willy Wonka? Yeah, no, but it was uh, Susical. Okay, so he started at Rivertown. He started at Rivertown is where the auditions were at the time. I, this is the first time I've heard did this he story. Get, did he still get the two games? He got the two games. The, he got the, 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 we, held up like we held up our bandit. end. And we <laughs> got out like a bandit. And he did it. And then we saw the cast parties and then that's how... I think we got on with uh, Dirty Rotten Scandals as dancing part, and I think one of my first questions to Keith was, do we get to go to the cast party if we dance? Because that's, you know, Aww. I wanted to go to the cast party. But don't give me any lines. Just that's let me go to the cast a good party. party. I have a great Cameron story. Your son was cast as the lead in Jungle Book. Yes. Mowgli. And I was Mowgli. the costumer for <laughs> that show. And every time Cameron, you know, stepped out of line, which he, he's a great kid. He never did. But he'd get real sassy. I'd look at him and say, Cameron, you need to be careful. I'll put you in those red diapers. <laughs> I made him Bermuda shorts, you know, because, you know, you know, the cartoon, and he had, it was literally a little red diaper. Yeah. And his face, every time I said it, no, Miss Angelina, I'll be good. We well, had a simple costume for that. <laughs> yeah, it was just <laughs> red Bermuda shorts that no, I made. Yeah, no but shirt, yeah, no but I had to keep threatening him. Yeah. I'll put you in those diapers, make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most recently, you were the sheriff. And sheriff you died, and Bonnie and Clyde. Died beautifully as the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, I got blown away. Fantastic actually, scene. There were actually a couple shows where I was applauded for getting killed. I'm not sure if that's a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing, but you know, I did get my applause. <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite roles uh, for, for you will always be when you played Kathy in A Few Good yeah, Men. That, that was the role that you were built for. I really thought that would be the last show I was ever in. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that the was epitome, the ultimate. Yeah. That was the ultimate. Uh -huh. That was, I don't sing, um, not even in the shower. And so I, never, I knew I would never be in a musical. Although you were in plenty of musicals. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was just yeah. recently in a musical. <laughs> but, I, you know, the, the parts are always going to be small. Right. Um, but, you know, once we got involved with theater, then I got involved with the board. I remember going to my first gala, which was the first time being on stage here. And 15 minutes before I had to present an award, it just got real hot. I mean, it got so hot in there. I remember I was sitting next to Don Elmore and, and he was presenting at some point and I, I, I just started sweating, like, like sweating. I had to get up, go to the bathroom, splash water. And I'm like, what is going on? I walk outside and it was nerves. I was so nervous because I had never really spoken in front of a large group, ever. I'm just finding out all kinds <laughs> of stuff with you. And I get up there and um, it, was, it was rough. You know, I had something to read and I, and I read it and I presented the awards and then it wasn't until the next year that I started 
you know, getting on stage and, and mm -hmm. doing things. You know, we have another gala awards this weekend. That's right. It's coming up. Open to the public. So How many excited. years is that now? This is six, seven? The gala was Jeez. started before I got there. Okay. They used to, New Bern Civic Theater used to do a kind of a picnic barbecue thing for the volunteers. Yeah. Um, and I think it was shortly before I came, and I came in 2006. And uh, they decided that they wanted to do a special, you know, award ceremony for it. This is all for the volunteers. Mm -hmm. Now, the first year that I went, I got my card in the mail and it said cocktail attire. And so I wore, I remember what I wore. My, my then husband and I, you know, it's cocktail attire. So I wore this Chinese black plain gown. I mean, it was just simple. I mean, it was nothing elaborate. And b there were people in there wearing sweats. Yeah. There were mm -hmm. people wearing like mm -hmm. sweatsuits. And the next year when we were going, my, my husband said, are, are we dressing up again? And I went, uh-huh. So about three years into it, um, I started getting phone calls from some of the, the women volunteers saying, Angelina, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? And that year there was a sea of cocktail dresses. So I said, uh -huh, okay. I'm going to do a ball gown next year. And so now it's become this Tony Award it is. ceremony. It and is. I think it I think the volunteers what they do in the community that celebrates them, it's an opportunity not only to be recognized for the hard work that they do, but a, a night where they get to really be actors and do the red carpet and have this know, award ceremony. And it's it's open to the public. Yes. So yes. it's completely open to the public. We we have appetizers and, and beverages afterwards for mm -hmm. everyone who does it. Day, we have a good party. But you know, when, when, when people think of volunteers, so imagine when you go into the show and you sit down. Well, before you even get there, there's somebody at the ticket office. Mm -hmm. There's someone who takes your ticket. There's someone who shows you to your seat. Once you sit down, if you look behind you, there's someone running a spotlight, someone mm -hmm. running sound, someone riding, running the lights. You're looking on stage. It's dark. There's somebody that's going to drop the... Uh, the curtain. There's people scrambling in in the behind the scenes that you can't see. You have hairdressers. You have um, uh, costume designers. You have people doing makeup. Sets. You have everything. Mm -hmm. You have people doing props, moving sets up. Stage managers. These are all volunteers. Right. These are all volunteers, and that is what this weekend is about. Recognizing those people, they kind of go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so all weekend warriors. Nobody is, you know, people aren't there because they're getting a paycheck. Right. Right. They're there because they love what they're doing. That's right. And, and and more often than not, when we start rehearsals, it's intense. Some You're taking time off from your families. You're coming in after work. You're exhausted. <clears throat> and you're putting in 110% effort into building and creating a production yep. from beginning to end. And so, yeah, this, this gala is a way for us to say, you know what? Thanks. We see ya. <laughs> it's an evening of... All of you. <sighs> right? Right. It's an yeah. evening of... <laughs> That's very right. well put. This is what happened last year. This is what we did mm -hmm. last year. Right. As volunteers, as board members, as everyone connected to theaters. <sighs> because, you know, theater really, it, it, it's a venue. It's a platform for the... For the inner child in you. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that inner child in them that maybe they thought they could do this or they wanted to do this or maybe they lack confidence or they lack the assertiveness, um, the, 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 the drive. They know that there's something in them, but what's going on in their life isn't it. We do have kids that are now adults that started out and they showed up and they're behind the scenes running a spotlight. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, they want to help on the sides. And then before you know it, they want to pull the curtain. Mm -hmm. Then before you know it, they want to be on stage as a very small part. And then now all of a sudden they want speaking lines. And you start seeing that this inner child in them has now developed. And this confidence is just, I mean, it's just oozing out of them because they're so much more confident and assertive in life. And it's just the beginning of their life. Right. It's, it's the start of something much bigger. Right. And that is why... I, I love the venue and the platform of theater. And it's applicable to not just theater. I mean, you can take those skills and that confidence and that creative, uh, critical thinking, creative problem solving, and you can place that in any type yeah. of organization. These are skills that go throughout yeah, um, life, no matter what you're doing. My biggest thing this year is communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, perfecting communication, perfecting communication from the standpoint where 
the board has subcommittees or, or communication with the executive director to make things much better for our patrons, to make things much better for our volunteers. That, that communication line of, okay, here are the deadlines, here's what we need, here's how we're gonna get there. But it starts within. So we start within the theater, then we branch out outside of the theater and we communicate the community about what theater is and how theater thrives and how it functions. You know, the, what the average community theater out there after all their ticket sales, that only pays 52 to 53% of their total expenses for the year. People don't know that. So how do they make up that other 47%? They have fundraisers, donations, things of this nature. They go off to grants. It's communicating to the outside part of the community that, hey, you know what? We want this to be the best platform for entertainment for you. We're not into mediocrity here. It's going to be professional, state-of-the-art, first-class entertainment for you, but we need some help. Mm -hmm. We need some help because we cannot do this alone. We need your help when doing this. And that's why we put together donation packages. And some of these donation packages can include season tickets. Mm -hmm. Sponsorships. Sponsorships uh, more. Yeah. Awesome. All of it.